Okay, carrying on test one, question seven. Uh, suppose that a jacket with a surface area of one square metre is made from a material with a thermal conductivity of 0 0.02 watts per metre per degree Kelvin. How thick should the material be in order to slow heat loss via conduction from the wearer to 100 watts if the air temperature is 0 degrees C and we're going to assume that the person's skin temperature is 34. So there's some formula, I forget how it goes, but basically it says power is going to be equal to, it's going to be proportional to the area, it's going to be proportional to the conductivity, whatever symbol we use for that. I'll find the formula. I forget the, for the symbol. So, boom, 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 K. K we use. A times K, the thermal conductivity, times the temperature. Okay, they're all the things that make it go um, faster. And then we need to divide by the thickness. The thicker it is, the less heat will flow. And, yep, that looks like about right. So, in our case, we have, we want to find D, the thickness, okay? So, rearranging, we have D is equal to A, K, delta T over P, the power. And the area is 1, K is 0 0.02, times delta T is 34 divided by the power is 100 and there you go 0 0.02 times 34 divide 100 equals and we get 0 0.0068 meters which is 6.8 millimeters okay nice um, Seven moles of an ideal monatomic gas with initial temperature of 125 degrees expand and in the process absorb 1,200 joules of heat and do 3,400 joules of work. The final temperature of the gas is closest to. Well, basically we have our change of internal energy is going to be 1,200 joules of heat that are absorbed. Take away the 3,400 joules of work done. Okay, so that is minus, oh, I hate myself, I can't do these calculations in my head, 2200 joules. So our gas loses 2200 joules of internal energy. So it's going to be colder than it was before. So it started at 125. Well, it can't be 130 and it can't be 140. It's got to be one of these cooler temperatures. And I go to the formula sheet and I go, the internal energy of an ideal monatomic gas is 3 halves nRT. So therefore, we have that 2200 minus 2200 is going to be 3 halves nR delta T, the change in temperature. So we want our change in internal energy to be equal to that. And so therefore, I get delta T equals minus 2200 over 3 halves nR. And just plugging in some numbers, we get minus 2200 uh, divide brackets. 3 halves is 1.5 times N is 7 moles, times R is 8.314. So we're going to lose minus 26.35 degrees. So we started at, did I do that right? Let me just do that calculation again. First of all, that started at the beginning. 1200, 1200 minus 3400 equals, yeah, minus 200. Divide brackets, 
1.5 times 7 times 8.314 close bracket equals yeah, it's better don't know why I got that minus 25.2 okay maybe I did I don't know what I did anyway the net result is we started at 125 we lost 25 so our final temperature is going to be 100 so we'll go with a Ah, and now for a nice relatively easy one is we're going to treat the earth as an ideal black body radiator at a temperature of 284k and which of the following is closest to the total power output by the earth's surface as a thermal as thermal radiation the radius of the earth is blah blah well we know that power output is going to be the area times sigma t to the fourth and so this is going to be the area is going to be 4 pi r squared with the radius of the earth times sigma which sigma t to the fourth so this is equal to okay so 4 times pi times 6.37 by 10 to the 6 x squared times sigma which is there 5.67 by 10 to the minus 8 times t to the fourth it's 284 kelvin times 284 kelvin raised to the power 4 equals and I get 1.88 by 10 to the 17 and there it is okay just a note about the questions in general where something is like this it's a calculational question if you make a mistake we try not to put the obvious dumb answer in so if you forgot to put t to the fourth and just put t in you get a different answer and hopefully that answer is not here okay we want you to have the chance to go hey my answer doesn't match one of these choices I must have done something wrong and you work out what you did wrong and solve it okay we don't want to catch you out by putting a simple mistake here and thinking you're going to do that having said that I didn't check this one so I don't know whether we were kind okay 17 moles a 17 mole sample of an ideal gas undergoes an isothermal expansion which quadruples multiplies by 4 its volume the entropy change of the gas for this process is closest to okay so it's isothermal so all of the heat is supplied at the same temperature and the volume goes up by a factor of four I imagine there's lots of ways we could do this but I'm going to go to the formula sheet because hey hmm okay I'm not sure this one looks promising but I have to do some work well okay I'll do some work oh no actually this one because it is constant temperature however what we don't know is what the volume was originally but that probably doesn't matter so let's do it without knowing let's just say its initial volume was 1 and its final volume equals 4 so Q the heat added is 17 moles times uh, three halves no
not happy. I will come back to it because I obviously need to think about this for a second. So I'll stop there.